Bush Chris, tell me where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm so pumped up because it's my job to make you guys the best Fortnite player you can possibly be. Oh, yeah. And also the best person you can possibly be. You know, it's all about confidence. I want you guys to have confidence. I know a lot of us struggle with confidence, but you know what? I want you to speak positive over your life. Speak positive, you know, over your mind and over your situations. And I promise you, you're going to see yourself get more confident day by day. I know because I struggled with confidence for so long, but I'm telling you, you could do it. Listen, I'm so excited today because we're going to take this to the next level all right today we're going to give you guys a crash course in fortnite that's right ladies and gentlemen 30 tips back to back that's going to help you achieve better skills all right we've got a wide variety of tips some familiar others new and we're going to rapid fire them through your wall and into your box so you guys got to get ready but before we do man you guys got to taste my bunch of crunch i'm telling you right now i'm not trying to promote them but i'm telling you it is delicious check it out my favorite candy it's that bunch of crunch and let's get this going all right, guys, number one, strategic planning. Always begin before, you know, players even drop. While waiting in the lobby, okay, be sure to check the trajectory of the bus driver. This is gonna let you know how close the path will be to your choice of landing spots. Be prepared to make adjustments as you see fit. Always have more than one possible landing spot. All right, number two, landing spots can be contested or uncontested, depending on the meta and the benefits of landing at certain locations. Some players want to go for eliminations and will end up landing along with multiple others looking to do the same thing. Number three, landing uncontested is sometimes luck based. Like even if you find a nice landing spot with a few chests all to yourself, you know, always assume someone else had the same idea. I mean, you may not be fighting the entire lobby, but all it takes is just one fast player reaching the loop first uh, for your entire game plan to really fall apart. Trust me, I've been there. Number four, if you plan to use Chug Splash or Harvest Chug Barrels, all right, try to wait till your shields are at 50 so you can just top it off. However, if you are in a fight and need the heals, then feel free to do anything you can do to survive and win the fight. Number five, seven vaults are scattered all across the island in a similar fashion to IO bases. You're gonna need multiple players to open these vaults if you're playing solo. However, you can bypass the security check by just knocking down a guard and carrying them over to the scanner. Soon, you're gonna be able to get your hands on all that loot, man. If you have no guards chickens are going to work as well number six the sniper rifle this season does not have a 200 damage headshot so keep this in mind guys if you plan to use this weapon since it can just be easy to expect to really have that much damage causing you some confusion if you land the shot but don't make the kill regardless like the sniper is an excellent choice for knocking down a good majority of your opponent's health and really forcing them to really take the defensive are right, you gonna need some accuracy for that striker pump right how about check it out aim lab by clicking on the link below you know with so many routines to choose from and even customize you are guaranteed guaranteed to see improvement in your aim. Don't believe us? All right, Aim Lab has you covered with statistics on your progress that points out exactly what you need to be working on from mouse movement to keeping your crosshairs on opponents. Number seven, another weapon with no 200 headshot is the striker pump. However, players have adapted by double pumping. This method is a sure way to use the new shotgun. However, it does require you to use up two inventory slots. Number eight, the auto shotgun deals even less damage and requires you to be in close proximity to your opponent to deal the maximum amount of damage. This weapon is best used for when you want to strike quickly and swap out another weapon. Number nine, the ADS rifle, while recently nerfed, is still a great weapon for those peaking since the accuracy of the weapon allows you to get those shots in at an angle. So try just testing it out by creating a box with windows. And so it could be the key to really impossible peak shots, I'm telling you. Number 10. Sometimes, you know, what you need are items from the vending machines or from various characters. Luckily, all right, in one of the most recent updates, the amount of gold on the island has been increased. Remember, gold does not carry over in competitive. So if you want to make sure that you make use of it, you need to take bounties, open chests, and eliminate enemies. Number 11. The higher you are in the competitive ranks, the more often you're going to have to deal with Storm Surge. I'm telling you right now. So this is really because players are just more skilled at staying alive, which means the game must slowly eliminate those who deal the least amount of damage as the storm closes. Luckily, you're going to lose health gradually, so you know you still have a chance to find an enemy, deal some serious damage, and get yourself out of storm surge. Number 12. Slide canceling does not increase your speed, all right? One of the misconceptions from sliding comes from the fact that it feels like just moving faster. Sliding will move you faster when you're going down a slope and will definitely make you a harder target to hit. Number 13. Now, if you want to move faster while sliding, try doing it right as you land from a deployment, all right? Hold down the slide key or button while descending. Move forwards or backwards to just build up momentum. And then finally, the moment that you touch ground, you should see yourself boosting forwards. Number 14. All right, one of the common misconceptions and mistakes that you probably make is holding down the forwards button or, or stick when sliding forwards. The mentality behind that is, you know, just holding the stick allows you to keep sliding forwards. The truth is, man, that it really does nothing 
nothing and this slide will lose momentum at the same pace if you were holding it. So you should break out of that mentality and instead use those free thumbs to perform other functions. And so this is also gonna keep use of those same keys to do a complete 360 while sliding. Number 15. All right, so now for some game stage tips. So during the early game, the most important actions you need to keep in mind are choosing your spot, landing, reaching the loop quickly, and building up your mat inventory, all right? Um, this is like the most hectic stage of the game since every player starts off with nothing and you need to really find a weapon to defend yourself if you want to make it out of spawn. Number 16, during the mid game, you're going to be rotating towards the center of the circle. You're gonna need to outrun the storm and start building up your loot from rare status to legendary. The fights you encounter during this time will also get more intense as the outcome is just, you know, is more dependent on aiming and building rather than, you know, those who just reach the weapon first. Number 17, the late game will require you guys to keep building and keep trying to take the high ground. The high ground is your best friend and will not only give you guys a good vantage point of the enemies below you, but will also make it easier to keep up with the storm. Number 18, the redwood trees will always fall towards the closest player, even if the trajectory of gravity seems to say otherwise. Like this will deal 100 damage upon impact and can be useful for clearing builds. You can also keep hitting the leftover log to deal additional damage to enemies and builds. This time, the damage is based on momentum. Number 19, all right, Guzzle Juice recently got buffed, making it a much quicker way to heal. However, the previous drawback of not being able to take damage is also in effect. This includes storm damage, which will cancel out the healing. On the other hand, fall damage will not have an effect on your Guzzle Juice use, and you know, with the new buff, it just makes it easier to recover after taking fall damage. 20. Now, if you are looking to run through the storm while also healing, consider using Med Mist since it can heal you in like the storm at 5 health per click, and it does allow you to move while doing so. This can create an extra protective layer that keeps your health nice and green as you try to outrun the storm. Number 21, quad coppers are one of the best ways to rotate this season. With their signature boost, you can get great air time when you practice boosting mid-jump. It can get you around the map much quicker than a normal vehicle can, even with the all-terrain tires. Number 22, Chili Chuck is available from Llamas, and there is a guaranteed spot near the Llama NPC at Name and Name. This Llama will always spawn there every game, so you can use it to get max maps and a variety of useful items. Number 23, for even more mats, keep an eye out for that raft that spawns at the edge of the map. Each game, the spawn location is gonna change, making it a dynamic POI. There, you can farm more than 100 wood from the mast alone and even harvest. Chug barrels, consumables from the non-boxes as well as a guaranteed supply crate and henchman chest. Number 24, all right, so if you're having trouble finding the web slingers, then don't worry guys, we got you covered. All right, so first you need to drop down to the Daily Bugle and start exploring while keeping an eye on the walls. Eventually, you should be able to find a backpack webbed up to the wall, interact with this, and it's gonna drop the web slingers for you to use. 25, visual sound effects have been buffed and turning them on will allow you to see all the sorts of activity from a distance such as oncoming vehicles, players healing, and even the players themselves as they enter your proximity. One player who is currently using this system is Booga, and you can see why. I mean, it offers a huge advantage and we recommend using this for as long as it remains this powerful. 26. Invading boxes got easier this season with the new sliding mechanic. This requires you to deal some damage to the wall, you want to bypass, you know, build a cone in front of it, then slide down to gain momentum and knock down the wall. Do this correctly and you should be able to slide through before your opponent has the time to refortify the box. Alright guys, number 27. Speaking of destroying boxes, the SMG seems to be the go-to weapon this season due to its rapid, you know, rate of fire and damage. This has resulted in a spray and pray playstyle where knocking down a wall and dealing some damage because Becomes more viable. However, remember guys, if you want to use this strategy, make sure that you have enough ammo to pull it off. Like, don't want to see yourself running out of mid-fight, right? And so if you need help not wasting your ammo, you gotta check out Aim Lab. Don't waste those bullets, land more shots, and take down your opponents today. You can do it. 28. Consistency is more important than speed. Like, if you're in a build battle or a box fight, you need to make sure that you're placing the right builds in the right places, right? Otherwise, there are no strategic methods to your builds, and you are only doing so for the sake of building. So train your mechanics on creative to get the feel for building and editing. Then find a sensitivity that's going to allow you to have the most building accuracy. And as long as you know what you want to do while building, you're going to have a clear path towards your goal. 29. Never forget what you're capable of when down. Like, you can actually perform multiple actions besides crawling. Like, you can use the grapple when down to get away, but also you can use jump pads and webs to just bounce around. Also, like, if you drop your inventory, you can lighten the load and move faster. 
30. All right, so one of the newest items, the Chug Sprinkler, is a great way of keeping your team healthy. So if it has been released by the time this video is uploaded, then you're definitely gonna know what to do. Drop that sprinkler down and everybody benefits. Just be careful, guys, not to heal your enemies. Bunch of girls tell me that's gonna be it for today's video. Listen, be sure to leave a like, sub to the channel. Man, also feel free to leave a comment and just let us know if there's anything that you would be interested in learning more about. Man, I hope you guys appreciated these tips and I hope you guys use these to your advantage. I believe in you. I am your number one fan. The guy who's rooting for you, the one who is motivating you, man, each and every day. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, your motivation guy. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.